So how much? $21.99. I'll take it. So your total is $2,396.91. What? Tax. I'll think about it. I'm gonna go check on Amazon. For a long time, many Amazon shoppers didn't have to pay sales tax with online purchases. But for most of us, that time is coming to an end. People born and raised here have no idea what sales tax is. Lucky. Today, Amazon charges sales tax on products shipped to these states. These other states recently passed laws that require purchasers to file a sales tax return at the end of the year. Leave a comment if you do this. But people who live in these states are in for a rude awakening. Starting this July and over the next two years, Amazon customers are going to notice sales tax added onto their purchases. What? And this will really hurt people who want to buy expensive electronics online. Lucky people living in these states don't have to pay sales tax. Road trip. Yet. Now why the hell would Amazon do this? Jeff Bezos founded Amazon after the US Supreme Court ruled that internet retailers are not required to collect sales tax if they don't have a presence in the state. But lately, a lot of states have been putting pressure on online retailers like Amazon, even to the point of forming an organization that is dedicated to encouraging remote sellers over the internet to collect sales tax on customers living in their states. So rather than fight the government head on and risk a federal law being passed, Amazon decided to do an about face and cut deals privately and on its own terms with individual states. Amazon is betting that online shopping isn't just about saving money on taxes, but that it's also about convenience. For me, once I know what I want, there is no shopping experience better than buying online. I save on the time, gas, and frustration that comes from shopping at a physical store and dealing with pompous salespeople. But big box retailers think they are losing business because of sales tax. The Main Street Fairness Act would force large online-only retailers to collect sales tax from out-of-state customers. It's being pushed by state and federal politicians who need to make up for the budget shortfalls during the recession. Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Home Depot, and Sears hope that it will stop the bleeding going on at their brick and mortar stores. Perhaps seeing the writing on the wall, Amazon decided to cut all these deals directly with the states to undermine support for this Main Street Fairness Act. What do you guys think? Are you planning on buying anything expensive soon? Outside of having a tea party, the only way to avoid paying tax up front is to buy early before tax is added onto your online orders. Let's spread the word to everybody on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, so hopefully we get the message out that this is really gonna suck.